nice. implement the training nice. session. So big thanks to Coach Ali and Coach Hansel um, mm -hmm. for preparing us for these SEA Games. How long have you been preparing for the SEA Games? It, it has been a goal of ours since the beginning of the year. Oh, okay. um, we started seriously having our camp after August, mm -hmm. which was our last tournament in Thailand. Yeah. So um, we've been preparing this for some time now. and It's definitely the biggest tournament of the year. What's, what's training like? What's uh, training like for jiu-jitsu athlete? Like for breakfast, after breakfast training? And then some can say they train in the morning, then they do their stuff or whatever, personal stuff, and then they train at night. It's important that they train twice a day. How about jiu-jitsu? I would say so. The more obviously, the more mat time you spend, the better you become. Huh. So it really helps that. Um, what do you do in the morning? So morning, what my personal, I can only speak for myself for now. But um, what I like but to do is normally for the team. Oh, when for, normally prepare. for the team. Um, each has their different styles. Oh, each okay. has their different styles. Um, but of course, you want to have a, a healthy breakfast. Uh -huh. You want to drill, drill techniques. You want to spar. You want to learn new techniques. And then maybe have your lunch, mm -hmm. maybe weight, lift weights. Oh, and you then need maybe to lift weights Lift also. weights is important. Stretch. Um, of course, see your physical therapist, get your massage. Then at night, train again. So I train would say again. that would be a typical schedule. And that's yes. uh, seven days a week? Um, or you no, need to rest? You need to rest. Oh, yeah. just one day a week. So Dep depends. On depends your body, so it really bodies. depends? Really really? depends. The younger guys can go a little harder <laughs> and longer. Um, the older guys with full-time jobs, <laughs> yeah. not as much. Not as much. Yeah, that's why. Um, but so it really depends. You know, you just you have to listen to your body sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the importance of having a coach, mm -hmm. so they can kind of guide you. You know, okay. because you know a lot of people they it's don't. It's not the same, pala. It's not. Yeah. It's okay. Not, okay. Yeah. But um, does the women um, athletes fight with men? Um, during our trainings, yes. But during competitions, no. So that's, no, that's part of their training. They part have to training. fight you. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah. I have to fight right? them. And you have to fight them. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's tough. They it's can tough. carry you? They can throw me around <laughs> and sweep me. It's no fun like sometimes. I don't yeah, um, but yeah, a lot of the women on our team are they're strong, highly skilled. You, do, you don't, I mean, if they wear regular clothes, I mean, you will think that they're that tough and that strong. Yes, oh. yeah. And then you see them compete and actually, so not... Not to shoot down the men's team because the men's team does great, but the women's team of our jiu-jitsu team actually um, has been responsible for most of our medals yeah. in the Asian Games and in our competition in Thailand. Yeah. So, um, shout out to the women of our team for, you know, bringing in a lot of medals to and glory for the Philippines. So, masasabi mo na we're also one of our sport because we're we're a fan of boxing. You know the popular sport: boxing, basketball, uh, swimming. Now jujitsu, we can make it. I think the Sea Games is a testament that we we are definitely. Well, I think right now we're leading um, with how many people we have fighting for gold. So I think um, Filipinos can definitely excel. Filipinos are very athletic um, we have the capabilities of being really good in this sport worldwide not yeah. just in yeah, asia that's what I'm about to ask you're, you're competing not just in asia right um we compete internationally mm -hmm. so um, we have we had tournaments in abu dhabi this year mm -hmm. um asian championships was in mongolia mm -hmm. last year's world championships was in sweden mm -hmm. so yes we, so we compete we internationally we, we're good what's the result of those competitions so we can also be you know at par with those uh, athletes? Definitely. We're definitely um, a force to be reckoned with. Maggie, last year in Sweden, won the World Championships. So she placed number one there. Um, in the Asian Championships, we have Carlo Pena representing the males who's fighting mm -hmm. for gold today. He mm -hmm. um, got silver. Um, Annie Ramirez got silver. Maggie won as oh. well. And Andrea also won as well. So and now yeah. nalalaman na natin yung mga kapuso. Ngayon lang natin nalaman, lalo, di ba? Yes. Na we're excelling in jiu-jitsu. We are. There's so much potential and I encourage all the Filipinos to partake in the sport. Oh. Is it uh, genetics? Um, or, you know, Filipino genetics? The, our shoulders, our, mm -hmm. our, our speed, maybe? I don't know. Is, is it uh, like, you know, for jiu-jitsu? Yes, I think so. You know, the fact that we love fighting, or fight sports mm -hmm. and martial arts is a big plus. 
and our bodies are made made for these kinds of sports, made for based weight based sports. Uh -huh. So um, yes, we can compete with anyone from all over the world. Yeah. Now we're seeing Thailand versus Singapore. What's yes. happening though? Totally? So There's now an advantage too. Um, the score is the Thai competitor is winning by one advantage. It's two points to one advantage. Um, and um, the Singaporean has two points to zero advantages. So um, I believe it is the red belt who is on top right now winning the fight. So mm. the Singaporean wearing the blue belt is on the bottom and he has to push the pace a little bit more in order to get the sweep and get this bronze medal. And looks like a pass attempt here. So here he has to stabilize the position for three seconds. Oh, but you can see the Singaporean is turtling but up. He's moving. Yeah, so, so that's not counted. No points were given. But he has, I think he has back control now with both hooks in. Oh, that's four points, if ever. Oh, yeah. He, that's uh, good job. I'm learning. You're learning. You can, you can enroll in a class tomorrow. Tomorrow. Or maybe the day so after, 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 after the this. Games, yeah. After the sea games. Yeah, Coach Hansel would be proud. <laughs> And so what's, what, what should we look out here for? So as you can see, he only has one hook in. There we go. Now yeah, he has two, two hooks. So now he should get the four okay. points. And look to him for go, to go for a choke. While the po person on the bottom, the Singaporean wearing blue, needs to shake him off. You see him kind of falling off his back. Yeah. That's what he wants. He wants oh, him to okay. fall off. So, so he, he will so be released. Yes, so he but will be like released. it's like he's carrying. He's trying to... The Thai opponent is... Holding on there. Yeah. But he's. The Singaporean just needs to shake, shake a little bit more. And we have 28 seconds left. And I think the Thai competitor is in good control, yeah. maintaining that back control with, with the six hooks. 6-2. 6-2 two. Two two now, yes. With two advantages. In favor of Thailand. And looks like time's going to run out. There's five more seconds he to go. He just have to hold on because he he's just, already, yeah. you know. Yeah. Good position for yeah. him. He gets he's it. a high score. Six. Winner of the bronze medal for...